Welcome, let's see if science can help us to make some better food. This is part one, introduction. Let's have a look. In this video, we will learn what is the difference between heat and temperature, how heat transfers, what is Maillard reaction, what is caramelization, and how these are utilized in different cookers. Let's get started. The first definition is temperature. Temperature tells us how much energy set of atoms or molecules have. Here we have a protein. Part of the energy is stored in the vibration of the molecule. Next to it, we have set of atoms in container. Near absolute zero, all the atoms are almost still, but if we heat the container, they move faster. Part of the energy is stored in the translation and rotation energy of the molecules. Temperature is a statistical quantity that tells us how much on average energy the system have. In this uh, gas system here, it is possible one of the molecules is almost still and one of the molecules is moving really fast. So it's, it's statistical quantity. In the definition of temperature, we say the word energy. Well, what is energy that is moving from thermodynamical system to other? It's called heat. Heat is energy. So heat is flowing from hot system to cold one. It can move either by conductivity, by convection of gas or fluid, or by electromagnetic radiation. In this example here, we can see that hot flame is moving energy by convection to the water and water starts to boil and then vapor is going in air and releasing the energy by convection. If we put block of iron in water, water conducts energy, so-called heat, into the block of iron. And if we put block of iron in the cold olive oil, the temperature of the olive oil rises and it releases energy by conductivity. In this example, we can see that heat is transferring by conduction to the metal grating below the flames. Also, burning gases are going up the chimney and making the chimney hot. And also we can see that electromagnetic radiation, so-called infrared radiation, is going in the room and making it warmer. So when we are making food, one of these features is dominant and the others are secondary and it affects the texture of the food. So let's dig in deeper. Ah, and now that the tastiest chemical reaction there is, a Maillard reaction. Maillard reaction is basically the browning reaction in cooking, where amino acids and reducing sugars react at 140 to 160 Celsius, or 280 to 330 Fahrenheit. Usually oven or a frying pan is set a bit higher to ensure that reaction actually happens, like 180 Celsius to 200 Celsius. The result of the reaction is set of complex aromatic compounds that give food more flavor. This is what we want to happen while cooking. This method is used while searing meat. It gives the umami taste of a fry and onion. It gives the baked break its unique flavor and color. It's used in a coffee roasting and roasting whiskey barleys. Man, you gotta check the Wikipedia page of this article if you get interested. I'm not a chemist, so I won't dig any deeper than this. And now my favorite dessert, creme brulee, meaning chemical reaction caramelization. In high temperature, sugars get a nice brown color and get more aromatic, you know, get a caramel and nutty flavor. This reaction does not need amino acids like a Maillard reaction did. Usually caramelization happens around 160 Celsius to 180 Celsius or 320 Fahrenheit to 360 Fahrenheit. This is what we want to happen while cooking. We want to form new compounds that give more flavor to the food. In this experiment, we'll measure the temperature of a boiling water. We see that the temperature is a constant. It's around 95 Celsius equals to 200 Fahrenheit all the time. When state of matter is changing, the temperature doesn't change. Therefore, boiling water is below the needed temperature of a Maillard reaction. We don't get any extra flavor from the boiling. 
Here is example of conductivity and Maillard reaction. In left hand side, tomahawk steak is put into the contact grill. Blazing heat of the grill plates make the fat to begin Maillard reaction and flavorful crust is formed into the surface of the steak. Now the steak must be dry or water on the surface of the steak starts to boil. Otherwise we will boil the meat and well the Maillard reaction doesn't happen. Also high heat is needed to sear the steak so that fluids will stay inside the steak and it will be juicy. In the right hand side we added some oil to the pan and now heat is conducted by pan and oil. The oil layer also improves the Maillard reaction but excess use of the oil of course is bad for your health. Remember if you sear the meat on the pan for a stew for instance remember to scrub the pan into the sauce to give it some flavor. All that good Maillard reaction has happened there. Put those complex and tasty compounds into your food. Check my other videos for more detailed instructions. In convection heat transfer by gas or liquid. It either makes you feel really cold or hot. In this left hand side video we see a windy place at the seashore. <laughs> and I gotta say it was cold. Cold air flowed against me and absorbed the heat from my skin by convection. Then I felt extremely cold, even while the temperature of the air wasn't that low, it was around 15 centigrade. In this right hand side we have a picture of a Gulf Stream. Hot water from the equator transfer the heat to the Nordic countries and give us a mm, bit more pleasant weather. Yes. In cooking, convection is utilized in various places. First thing that pops into my mind is air fryer. Here in left hand side we have an air fryer. In air fryer hot fan blows hot air against the food. It will give a nice crust to the food and form Maillard reaction and or caramelization. So it has this built in method to create a tasty food. I will make more in depth review for the air fryer in future. So this is enough for now. The other device here is a pressure cooker. In a pressure cooking we are cooking with a water vapor that is in a high pressure and the temperature of the vapor is around 120 celsius meaning 250 fahrenheit it will cut to the cooking time significantly you can cook rapidly food that needs normally lots of time to simmer well in a pressure cooking what are we missing yep the maillard reaction wet water vapor don't get enough heat to begin the maillard reaction so if you use this cooking method, remember to saute your food beforehand or after to give some flavor from a Maillard reaction. I'll dig into the more in-depth review how pressure cooker works in the future. Infrared radiation is used for instance in broilers. Here you can see hot heating element of the broiler that emits infrared radiation. Food absorbs the infrared radiation well and infrared doesn't penetrate well. It means that radiation jiggles molecules on the surface and the surface temperature rises. It will form a nice crust. Now caramelization and Maillard reaction will happen. Because radiation is not penetrating, it leaves the inner part juicy. So if you slow cook or pressure cook your food, it might be a good idea to quickly put your food under the broiler to add some extra flavor from the browning reactions. The red color is not infrared. Infrared is invisible to human eye. In this animation we will see that all bodies emit infrared radiation when they are heated. When temperature rises enough we will see that red color is, is added into the spectrum and hot body glows red. If temperature rises even more, body emits all colors and turn eventually white. Another example of cooking by electromagnetic radiation is microwave oven. Microwaves have less energy than infrared and they penetrate the object well. The energy of microwaves are still high enough to jiggle dipole water molecules. Because of the good penetration properties, the object is heating from inside. The surface temperature will stay low and therefore Maillard reaction is not happening. In this cooking method, we'll miss the extra flavor from the cooker. Remember, microwaves are not ionizing radiation. So it's not harmful. Microwaves only tickle atoms and do not alter the atoms or molecules composition. Summary. We noticed that browning reaction don't happen if we are using microwave oven, steaming, pressure cooking or boiling. 
If you want to create more flavor with Maillard reaction, you must use these other cooking methods listed in the matrix. If you're cooking super tender ribs in a pressure cooker, it's a good idea to give ribs more flavor in grill before serving. This is how to read this matrix. Here are the picture references I used in this presentation. Hope you liked the video. Have a nice day.